Uh, top of the morning, folks. Meteorologist Tim Howard here with you with your latest WITN. First alert forecast on this Wednesday, August 7th, as we continue to track Tropical Storm Debbie uh, easing uh, out over the coast of South Carolina. Here's the South Carolina coast in here, Charleston. Uh, the storm uh, just maybe uh, 50 miles offshore or so. Si, si, senor. Copy that. Head it back to the wall. <coughs> All right, ready when you are. <clears throat> it's going 5432. Good morning, folks. I'm meteorologist Jim Howard, and this is your latest WITN first alert forecast on this Wednesday, August 7th, as we continue to track uh, Soaker Debbie moving up the east, slowly creeping up the east coast. Here we are. Let me roll you down to the South Carolina coastline. Here's our storm just offshore of South Carolina. And with that movement back off the coast, winds picking up a little bit. We're up to 45 sustained around the center, around the broad periphery of Debbie Center. All right, the uh, barometer at about 996, uh, moving east or drifting east, you'd almost say, at about five or so. Look at that uh, hard turn still expected as we get into later today, tonight, moving back into interior South Carolina, shuts off any further strengthening. Winds may come up a little more and then start coming down as it works inland. Again, rain, rain, rain with an isolated tornado risk. Uh, here we are Thursday at 8 p.m. Uh, so looking out to tomorrow, storm working through central North Carolina tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh, by Friday uh, evening, this thing's up uh, north of D.C. as a tropical depression. And again, uh, not much change in the reasoning with the storm or what we expect out of it. Rain's the primary focus here. There's a look at the radar. Uh, this is back sunrise-ish on our Wednesday morning. And again, the rain continues to wrap around. Uh, Debbie, some of those heavier showers pushing up into our area. Uh, right now, or this is back again, 4 or 5 a.m., Heavy rain uh, just a little bit to the west of Jacksonville and easing off the Outer Banks. Fairly quiet in many areas. These bands of heavy downpours will continue to ease in at times through the day today. And it's these bands that will bring isolated flash flooding along with that outside chance for a tornado. Uh, right now we're not seeing any of that as we start the day, uh, but we'll be watching that today, tomorrow, and Friday. All right, flood watch will be up through Friday night for everybody. And then tropical storm watch is up generally for the Crystal Coast, Cape Lookout southward, uh, coastal uh, tropical storm watch. Not a warning yet, uh, still not a slam dunk on seeing tropical storm force winds. We'll be close down there, I think, by Thursday, Friday. All right, so the first alert weather days roll on through Friday as Debbie moves slowly to the north with those periods of heavy rainfall continuing. Mid to late week, the flood risk really from today through Friday, moderate to high as we watch the rivers next week uh, for potential significant rises. Again, still a lot of uncertainty where the rivers will end up. On those winds, I think around 40, 35 to 45 uh, near the coast, a little less than that inland. Thursday, Friday, some of the gustier winds there. The isolated tornado risk likely won't go away until we get out of Friday. And the beach erosion, yep. Two foot storm surge should be fine there. Uh, watch the showers. This is a wet map. Here's today. And again, periodically these downpours move in and move out. Drop an inch of rain or so. Isolated rotating storm, possible tornado uh, here or there. Overnight, same deal. Thursday, same deal. There's Thursday morning. More showers around in and out of them. Uh, focus more to the west. This is where the flood risk is looking much higher back here. Thursday afternoon, you betcha, more showers, more downpours. Scattered in nature, you may go for four or five hours with nothing and then get under heavy rain for an hour or two, drop an inch, two inches of rain. Uh, Friday still dealing with the rain out there, although starting to see a little reduction in the coverage, uh, signs of change as we head into the weekend. Kick this thing out of here to the north. All righty, how much more rain? Models through tomorrow through Thursday, spinning out a three, four, maybe five inch total back to the west, uh, two to three on the coast. I'm thinking six plus now, generally west of I-95, the way it looks. Most of eastern Carolina will end up in that five inch 
range well inland and then three to four it looks like out on the coast give or take again that flood risk with us through the end of the week prepare for potential flooding we don't get it great but be ready for that possibility as we roll through Friday and again watching those rivers next week uh, winds watch our winds I'll get you into Thursday and Friday uh, this is Thursday afternoon winds 30 35 inland these are max winds uh, peak wind gusts uh, hitting some 40s on the coast and into Friday night or Thursday night Friday similar winds Friday uh, 35 maybe 40 on the coast and then we'll taper them down watch Saturday <laughs> that clock Saturday morning into the afternoon Shut the winds down, maybe 20 if that. Key points then, slow moving rainmaker, watching the flood risk, max winds around 40, storm surge two feet, no big deal there, big surf, dangerous rips, isolated tornadoes, gonna continue to watch for that. And again, uh, that flood risk, tornado risk, primary two components here. I wanna show you the big map real quick, a storm again lifting to the north, uh, we'll clear this thing out, or the bulk of it into the weekend, but the next <laughs> three days, this thing is just, easing so slowly to the north. Uh, here we are Thursday evening, Thursday night, Friday, pick up the model data. And again, the core of the rain, uh, Central NC, uh, we're in those scattered heavy downpours here, uh, I-95 to the coast. Check it out Saturday, uh, storm's gone to the north, lingering front, few uh, showers trying to pop Saturday afternoon, but winding things down. First alert weather day, today, tomorrow, Friday, 82, 84, 87. Rain chance 80, 80, 70 Friday. Cut that to 50 Saturday, then high near 90 Saturday. Sunday, isolated raindrop, uh, looks like a long shot. We'll go 20% there, highs in the 80s, lows into the 60s early next week.